Mark and I designed um, Theme Hospital back in 97, I think we released that game. Um, and it was something we were very proud of at the time. Um, we've made a lot of sim games, a lot of God games, from Populous, Theme Park, Black and White. Mark made Black and White. I did a game called Startopia. Mark and I made the movies together, which was, uh, they all effectively share this control freak kind of um, mechanic of you're the god of your little world. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, you could be a god of a supermarket, you could be god of a car wash, it doesn't really matter. You're able to control it, develop it, expand it, customize it. You, you might feel they're similar, but the actual gameplay loops are very different and there's a lot more customization and there's a lot more, um, I think we've really twisted it a little bit more into the surreal as well. I mean, for goodness sake, some of our DLCs have very little to do with hospitals. We, we go to, you know, like Area 51, um, we go up to the mountaintops um, and, and meet Bigfoot. I mean, it's just, the hospital's almost uh, a side note these days. We've been wanting to do uh, a fantastic console uh, version of the PC game for some time. It was a big challenge to do it all in one go. We obviously wanted to get our base game right, so we focused on initially the PC version, um, but we were passionate about getting it onto a controller. We felt we needed to bring in some new talent to help us. Um, it wasn't something we assumed we'd be able to do uh, ourselves uh, without some expertise, but we wanted it to just feel natural, like it was, you know, made for the console rather than ported onto the console. So we, we, uh, we had to completely redesign the UI from the ground up, um, which was interesting because there's a lot of UI in the game, uh, and make sure that the controller felt like the natural way to navigate around. And in some ways, I think it feels better than the mouse and keyboard, if I'm honest. Patients are reminded that we hope to see you again. We wanted to make sure we were giving added value uh, to, to, the, to the console audience. Um, we could have easily have um, gone with the base game and pushed extra content later on, but we really wanted to uh, add a lot more value. And our DLCs are big pieces of content. They're about a third of the game again. So I think it's a really good um, package altogether. I'm really, really pleased we did that. Everybody from the moment we announced the game, the moment we released the game, wanted to sit on Switch. That was, that's been the most requested. Um, please, please, please put it on the Switch. Um, and we thought, oh, how are we going to do this? This is going to be probably quite challenging, but I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's, it's wonderful to, I love playing it um, undocked. I think it's great just to have it on the lap. Uh, we didn't change very much at all. We've actually added some additional features onto the, all three console versions actually, which is this map view. And the map view just gives you a way to sort of look over the world very quickly at a glance and see if there's any trouble spots. Um, I wish we'd thought of that when we did the PC version, but it was, we don't stop designing. We keep thinking of new ideas and we thought, great, well, let's put something original into the console versions. Do you perhaps prioritize one over the oh, other? No, we don't. I mean, to be honest with that, desperate to be loved with just like anybody who likes our game right and let's be honest I mean we don't really understand exactly who our demographic is we have got such a broad range of people who seem to like our game from from very young to, to some more quite mature people um, in fact one of our um, I hope she doesn't mind me saying this I think she's a retired nurse but she's put in thousands of hours to our game and and you know I can't quite pinpoint who a two point uh, hospital player is. It just seems to be very broad. Here's a secret. The games that make really good two-point games are really ordinary things like hospitals, ordinary things like libraries, ordinary things like, I don't know, paper box factories, things like, you, what you gotta do is make something ordinary and turn it into the extraordinary. If you've already got something interesting like sci-fi, uh, it's difficult to amp it up. We have had many, many people tell us anecdotally that they've gone into uh, the med medical industry because they played some of our games in the past, which is mental. We have so many uh, uh, people on forums talking to us and we, we incorporate obviously their thinking. If, if people like features, we, we've, we've done that. Post-release, we've added in customization because people wanted their doctors to be dressed in a certain way and, and uh, so they wanted different costumes, so we did that. People wanted to have more freedom, more sandbox, take hold if you like the pressure away, so we added, we added sandbox. These all came from 
the community. These weren't our ideas. You know, I've been humming that tune to myself all week, which is uncanny because I've never heard it before. Or have I? Visually, we were looking at claymation in general because when I was, I was the artist and the animator on Theme Hospital and when I made that game uh, 25 whatever years ago, the games around me at the time were things like uh, Dungeon Keeper and um, Populous 3, Syndicate Wars, Creation. Um, and these games were using early sort of first generation uh, 3D rendering. And they all looked super futuristic. And, and, and my little art game was uh, pixels, <laughs> you know, placed uh, by hand, low tech. And it kind of looked like the poor relation, I think, at the time. But actually, I think that kind of handcrafted, um, handmade feel lasts uh, and has lasted the test of time. So when uh, uh, I spoke with the art team, and we were sort of starting to, to think about what it should look like, is how do we make something that won't look you know, dated five, 10, 15 years time if we're lucky enough to have a game that's still popular um, as, as Theme Hospital was for 20 odd years. Um, and we felt that the Ardman look or even Morph or any of those kind of claymation characters, they're just never gonna change because it is just plasticine, it's clay. Even if they're rendered these days, which they tend to be if you, um, rather than handmade, they just feel right. They don't feel old fashioned or futuristic. They're just handmade and bespoke. Um, so we tried to come up with something that felt handcrafted. So that's the style we landed on. What does Peter Moore do you think of the game? Um, well, I hope he likes it. Uh, it's definitely, I mean, I'm definitely, you know, I've worked with Peter three times over 30 years. Uh, probably put half my career into studios that he's had something to do with. Um, so it'd be crazy if that rubbed off on all of us. Upstairs, there must be half of the original Bullfrog team still still hanging around here. So we are what we are, right? Uh, uh, Peter was great at sort of inspiring us to make these games. We were a team, it wasn't just Peter, he knows that. Um, but um, we've made so many of these God games, it's kind of just, second nature to us. I'm not very good at other games, to be honest. I've tried. Some of them are really bad. Um, these games, I, I'm, I feel I'm quite good at. Um, I just stick to what I know, really. I, I just hope that people really sort of enjoy it on the Switch, definitely. I, um, I, I love playing on the Switch. I think it looks really sweet um, on the device. And also, these kind of games should be uh, on console. People seem to think console Gamers haven't got the integrity or the sort of dexterity to sort of stick with something with a lot more. I think that's nonsense. I think people want more sim games on, on, on console rather than everything being, yeah, you know, something you shoot or race or jump over. Not that there's anything wrong with those games. Um, so I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to, uh, in future, make sure that we have something simultaneously ready to come out on console as well as PC and rather not pace it all out as we have done. But that was just because we were a small studio. We were seven or eight, nine people when we when we started making Two Point Hospital. Small team, a lot smaller than Lionhead's teams used to be. There were like 300 people, so um, yeah, we just had to take a little longer. But we'll we'll, we'll hopefully um, get get the, the the next game out at the same time as the PC. We want to build uh, games within County until eventually you think of Two Point County as the place to go and find games, right? We, we don't want to be um, arrogant to think we can just reinvent lots of new games and, and be equally successful. So bringing them all to counties like it's going to be its natural home. So everything that's in a world will be in our vision at some point. It's just we have to build it one piece at a time. Mm -hmm.